Uh, my name's Claire Ashley, and I am gonna. We're gonna be performing uh, this piece called Hot Rocks today, uh, which is a, a five-person performance today in this iteration um, of small spherical inflatables that sort of operate like living, breathing organisms that will roll through the space. I look both deep in the ocean and high above our head, different planets. I kind of, a, I'm a sci-fi geek, uh, and so I'm really into Star Trek. And I'm using a lot of expandable foam and really uh, dorky kind of kitsch uh, associations to alien life forms as opposed to trying to be uh, super serious about them. But I'm also like, I love uh, high energy dance music. I love create like um, laser tag and, and kind of, again, the sort of where does kitsch meet fine art? Um, and where does pop culture meet um, contemporary art? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I would be making the work I make without being a teacher um, and talking to 18 to 20, 30, 40, 50 somethings every day about their own relationship to learning about and making work and trying to translate. I talk a lot in terms of my teaching about how individual artists need to sort of pay attention to their quirks and their curiosities and outside of the art world and pull that into the way that they think about then make, creating an equation of art making that makes sense for them as opposed to following maybe a system or a use of a material that has already happened. They get to think more about a mixing and matching or a particular way that they are creating a, a, a solution for this contemporary art making thing that allows their oddities, their quirks, their curiosities into the works. hungry. Um, be, be curious. Allow yourselves to make mistakes and not imagine that those are failures, but those are learning moments. Those are discovery. And I don't think I would have ever gotten to the things that I make today without mistake, without accident, without a discovery process, and without a just following a line of curiosity in your mind that may not make sense to anybody else, but if it's in your head, you absolutely have to follow through um, and, and go down that rabbit hole of curiosity to, and see where it leads you. You're allowing the material to talk to you and tell you what it wants and needs. And then you're also trying to manipulate it in a way that you're interested in. So that, that sort of meeting in the middle, I think, becomes really an important learning curve. Yeah. Thank you.